the final whistle went, and Portugal celebrated. Because, well, what else were they supposed to do? They'd won a trophy, and when you win a trophy you're supposed to celebrate, so Portugal celebrated. The Portuguese cheered and hugged, and did that thing where they all form a big circle with their arms, and hop around for a bit. They celebrated with their fans. They lifted the trophy as confetti fluttered down, and generally acted like they had been dreaming of this moment all their lives. Or maybe they were happy about the 10.5 million euros in prize money, that they'll no doubt get a cut of. The Netherlands doubled over, and looked disappointed. Because when you lose a final, you're supposed to double over and look disappointed. They thanked their fans for the support and for coming all the way to Porto. And then they glumly accepted their medals. So far this all checks out. Another final, another heartbreak for the Netherlands. ESPN's play-by-play -play man, Ian Dark, said earnestly on the American broadcast. But was it heartbreak? The final in question was the title game of the UEFA Nations League Finals, a new tournament designed to usurp the unwieldy Barnes tournament tour of friendly matches happening during the international windows, when no qualifiers or major tournaments are scheduled ostensibly to make for consequential competition, but probably also to better monetize these games. 